All right, guys, roasters are a favorite of mine. In fact, they're a favorite with lots of people because they're so cute, they're so sexy, they're so peppy, they're so sporty, and they have great performance. Yeah, roasters, I mean, they go back to 1920, and they were basically just a frame, uh, lots of fun, no doors, and it evolved over time. And we've basically uh, found that in the 60s, roasters just exploded with popularity. Now, Roaster is not a high-performance sports car like, uh, you know, like a Corvette or a Ferrari, those things. These are two-seaters, small, well-equipped, really agile, somewhere between 160 to 250 horsepower unless you're into one of the high-performance Roadsters. But what we have today behind us, getting right to the point, is this beautiful Fiat 124 Spider, which is one of the, you know, one of the popular roasters on the road today. What makes these so much fun is that they are the great thing to do for the weekend. You can hit those curves, but today we're gonna to focus on handling because today we're gonna to really focus on three areas of handling that makes roasters so special using this Fiat 124 as our test model. We're going to do the circles because handling really matters how tight you circle. We're going to do a figure eight with the cones and then we're gonna do turning, curves, and braking at the same time. And we'll just see how it all works out, okay? Be ready, guys, in this episode of Autofocus, the test drive. Ben, hit me. All right, ladies, I really do hear you when you're telling me the design matters, that you really care about the way it looks. So we're gonna talk about this baby right here. So starting off, let's always start with the front fascia design, the grill. The lower spoiler is very nice. Aerodynamic, you got your floodlights down here on either side of those. So you notice the front scales down with the grill right here, Fiat logo brand right there in the middle. And you see sort of a longer front engine area, giving it a very, very elegant yet sporty look. Let's look at the sides. These tires, the Potenza tires do the trick. Pretty much classic Fiat rims inside. If you're looking around as far as the, the top view of the hood here, you'll notice these indentations right here on the hood. Aerodynamics all the way, making it work, swinging right back to the steel cage barrier protector right here that makes this uh, roll ready, all right? And then if you look flowing all the way back, you see the two-seater here. Again, you've got these uh, protective, uh, you, got the, you got the protective roll bars, really beautiful inside. We'll talk about the inside in a minute, but that side, you can see even the little lines that bring the shoulders out, the lower spoiler trimming down here, keeping it all aerodynamic and all about performance. Right here in the back, you know, you got a little deeper uh, trunk space than you would expect with a Roadster gas tank. You can see that it swings around in a nice, sexy rear end with the spoiler tip right here and the exhaust down low, badging in the back. It's a beautiful vehicle, well done, well-designed Fiat. You can tell that they put a lot of time and thought into making sure that they have a quality Roadster. And one of the other things about this car that makes it unique is that when you look at the compartment for the drop top, when you look at the top that drops back, here's a compartment that carries your drop top right here. So you still have your trunk space. You're good with your trunk space so you can have the best of both worlds. Now this is where the action is. Now guys, you may think because I'm tall that I cannot fit in a Roadster, but I can. But if I was a little taller, I'm 6'3", if I were a little taller, I'd have trouble. But here I am inside this Roadster from the steering wheel area. You can see the shelving, but you got three gauges here and they're LED gauges. The most important thing, your RPMs, your miles per hour, your information readouts are right here. But as you move over, you'll notice that this is a nice little leather touch here against your plastic here. And you've got the dynamic two-tone motif happening with some shiny stuff right here in the middle. You've got the I don't know, tan, khaki, brown, whatever this is here on black. 
You've got the chrome around each of the air vents right here, which is nice. You've got this seven inch screen protruding right up out of the middle. It makes it nice. It doesn't come up and down, but it's all your infotainment stuff right here, your readouts, your climate control, things of this nature. So it's real neat, just like a Roadster is supposed to be, not overwhelming. You're trying to really drive and not worry about all this stuff. Your controls are right here on your steering wheel and the stick is down here. So let's go down to the middle section of the, um, the center console. You've got your knobs here, which is all for your climate control here. Your start stop button right here where you get the car going. And you've got some USB ports down here to charge your phone and other things like that. You can control the, uh, the temperature of your seats right here. You've got nine speakers for Bose in here and you can notice behind you can see the Bose uh, tag here because what you're doing is when you're sitting here you're getting Bose sound right there and these guys have really developed the sound system to a point where they can increase the the dynamics of the sound even though you're in a drop top and you got all that wind happening so really shout out to Bose for that uh, the doors, pretty straight ahead you know you've got the two-tone on the doors as you can see here chrome accent You've got your handle here, got some more speakers right there on the corner, and it's just a real sweet, sexy car. As far as the seats are concerned, you know, you still see these protective uh, headgear right here. You can see the sport seats here for the G grabbing you there, and it's beautiful leather, well done. Stitching, the design, nice sports bucket seats. Right here in the middle, you've got your controller to keep everything tight here. You've got your modes here, your nav and other controls here, your volume. Right there. It's got a little storage right here. These come out. You know, that's for your drink and it can come here. And they all they can also be attached at different parts within the car like like right there. Okay, and then if you can see here, you can swing back a little, Andy, you can see right here, what I'm gonna do is show you a little more compartments right here. So you got some more storage in there. Keep some snacks in there too. This is a controller that allows you to get the uh, top back down. Right there, just that simple. And in seconds, you've got the top back down. In seconds, you've got the top just like that, up, down, in seconds. It's manual, but it's worth it. And uh, so that's it for the interior of the Fiat Spider 124, one of my favorites. And guys, we'll probably have an award for top, <laughs> top roaster this year. It's gonna be so competitive, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, hey, let's do the test drive. Guys, the handling is really, really tight. Um, the center of, you know, the turning ratio is on point. Uh, you know, you do have to go a little wide when you're getting right in those uh, tight, tight areas. You gotta be careful about how you manage and navigate those tight areas on the cones. Because if it were a precision competition, I would have lost some points on that. But wow, it's, uh, it's really, really <laughs> a lot of fun. <laughs> It feels good, the handling is amazing. Uh, the turning ratio is tight, you saw that. The figure eight worked. Now we're on straightaways and it just feels good. You're nice and low. Kind of reminds me of cart driving, which is, <laughs> which is exhilarating. So even on wet roads, still have great, great handling. So I think that the Fiat 124 absolutely passed the test as to is this a roadster that is with the best of them when it comes to handling? I think it does. 